hey viewers welcome back to my channel in this video i will be sharing a case study on cleft lip and cleft palate so let's start first biographic information name mr brock chohan age 14 years sex male religion ip number ward pediatrics date of admission date of name of father occupation father's occupation name of mother and mother's occupation developmental age adolescent here patient's age is 14 years so he comes under adolescent group then diagnosis cleft lip and cleft palate chief complaints patient have a complaint of speech disorder present health history mr broke 14 years age was admitted to cleft palate clinic to attend annual review on 14 6 with complaint of speech disorder and dental malocclusion now mr broke's main area is orthodontic treatment currently he is on speech therapy recently braces were removed after 20 months in situ according to his report he will undergo maxillary adverse advancement surgery in his late teens past health history the client had gone through a surgical procedure of cleft lip and palate mr broke had an alveolar bone graft repairing of right side cleft lip and palate has was done when he was infant now family history and family tree there is no evidence of cleft, cleft lip and palate among the family members now personal history patient appears to be lethargic eliminatory pattern bowel movement is normal sleeping pattern pa patient is able to sleep properly sometimes feels discomfort with pain in cleft area he sleeps for about 8 to 10 hours a day play history the child likes to play with his friends he is able to run jump but his mother don't allow him to play with friends as he as she is afraid of may other child will hit mr brooks facial area mistakenly nutritional history the client likes both veg and non veg food his mother conveyed that he used to take three meals containing rice dal vegetable peas chicken egg but very less in quantity forcefully they are feeding their child always he refuses to eat due to discomfort in the oral region now birth history antenatal history nutritional status of mother was not good during antenatal period during 8 Eighth weeks of gestation, she suffered from viral infection. Mr. Brooks' mother suffered from anemia and hypoproteinemia during pregnancy. Intranatal period, baby was delivered at a hospital conducted by doctor. He was born by vaginal delivery with a complication of right-sided cleft lip and cleft palate. Postnatal history, baby had cried immediately after birth. Birth weight was two point three kg. There was a history of congenital defect that is right sided cleft lip and cleft palate and it was repaired at 10 months and 18 months of baby's age so here it is the immunization history now developmental history first biological development weight length head circumference chest circumference respiratory rate pulse rate blood pressure then motor development gross motor development under that can run jump can easily hop a distance of 10 feet sorry 16 feet can start turn stop effectively in games can make a running jump of 28 to 36 inches now fine motor development able to do school work and perform household work perfectly sensory development follows rule to avoid punishment interested in why and how sees differences more than similarities uses problem solving methods assumed of failure attention span increases language development improvement in sentence structure use of grammars and pronouns tremendous growth in use of words then speech proceeds from egocentric to social psychological or emotional development here curious about everything peer oriented begins a hero or ship then psychosexual development child moved into latency period associate with same sex person and tends to ignore opposite sex person know about sexual intercourse able to control anger now physical examination general appearance body build mental status activity posture now anthropometric measurement weight 42 kg height 162 cm head circumference chest circumference 
BMI body mass index so I think you people know how to calculate BMI here the here the formula is weight in kg by height in meter square so here weight is 42 kg and height is 160, uh, 162 semi if we convert this into meter then it will be 1.62 so 42 by 1.62 square then it will be uh, 16.003 here BMI categories underweight less than 18.5 normal weight 18.5 to 24.9 overweight 25 to 29.9 obesity BMI when the BMI is more than 30 so here the BMI is 16 so he comes under underweight category now vital signs temperature pulse respiration blood pressure head and face eyes ears mouth and throat presence of cleft lip and cleft palate here you have to mention it and having difficulty in speaking neck chest genito urinary rectum and extremities abdomen back nails skin then investigations drug therapy or medications this is the disease condition if you are writing care study or case study then you have to write it if you are just writing care plan then you don't need to write this you can skip it Nursing diagnosis, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to inability to ingest food as evidenced by cleft lip and cleft palate. Ineffective airway clearance related to alveolar bone graft as evidenced by abnormal breathing sounds. Impaired verbal communication related to congenital defect as evidenced by difficulty in speech. Risk for infection related to hospitalization as evidenced by redness, swelling of the site of incision knowledge deficit related to disease condition as evidenced by anxiety repeated questioning so here are the care plans Health education. Thanks for watching. Please do like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.